my dear students today i would like to discuss an amazing short trick we'll uh, you just see the problem here if you see this problem this appears to be just like a wheatstone bridge because uh, here there are two resistors on either sides whereas you can take a small r here it is given as 10 and capital r is given as 20 and again this is 20 and this is going to be 10 and in the middle it is taken as 10 here because smaller is taken as 10 here but you can see one thing here it is not a Wheatstone bridge because here you will not see that p by q is equal to r by s actually this it is not equal to r by s p by q is never ever equal to r by s according to this problem here uh, but you just see one thing here one thing you can observe here it is not going to satisfy the case of Wheatstone bridge then how can you solve this type of problems in which a symmetry of Wheatstone bridge is not followed. Then for this, uh, there is one shortcut formula here with uh, which you can solve the problem in fraction of seconds uh, because you can solve this problem by using Kirchhoff's laws also, but uh, it is time waste because this is the time where we have to do smart work here because hard work everyone will do. So what is the smart work here is you have to use this shortcut formula that is REIB is equal to small r into 3 into capital R plus small r by 3 into small r plus capital R. Okay, so this shortcut, if you use, you can solve this problem in fraction of seconds. How are you going to solve this problem? Let us see here now. So you all know that here you are going to find out R A B. So how are you going to find out R A B by using this shortcut which is written here? So uh, let us do that problem here now. Uh, like R A B is going to be smaller. Smaller is nothing but 10, and uh, 3 into capital R is going to be 20. So 3 into 20 plus 10. Uh, divided by 3 into 10 plus 20 okay so like this if you go on solve you'll be getting uh, finally as 14 ohms uh, if you try to do this problem by using Kirchhoff's law I think it you may waste nearly one or two minutes definitely even though if you are an expert but sometimes we have to use certain shortcuts so that we can save a lot of time and uh, use this time for solving some other subjects in the examination thank you very